So, Louis, there is some kit on this table. Can you please tell me what this has got to do with uh, food forests? All right, yeah, that's a very good question. What do I have here? A laptop and a drone and a smartphone. Um, first of all, before you start designing, you really need to play a detective. Right. Or a secret agent gathering intelligence. And what better way to do it than with a drone? Um, so. Einstein once said, if the world is going to come to an end in the next 24 hours, I'm gonna spend 23 hours looking for the solution and then the last hour solving what the real problem is. Mm -hmm. So this is, as a matter of fact, the same thing. So it's maybe, you've been wondering, maybe it's been taking so long before we start designing, but mm -hmm. as I said before, designing is really the last part. Right. First, we need to have the DNA, yep. and then the gathering of information. Mm -hmm. You really need to know everything from this field, mm -hmm. where you're gonna start. You need to know about the living things, mm -hmm. the plants, the animals, but also the non-living things, the soil condition, the water, the wind, the sun, and we need to put it all on our map. Can I just say, as you said the sun, it came out there, did you see that? That's do you think you are all, oh, that's really kind of, wow, I'm okay, uh, I feel I ought to do this now. <laughs> okay, so sorry, so we collect all the of this. The food forest god. Yeah, the food forest god. Um, and put it on the map. And the easiest way to do this is open your computer mm -hmm. and you go to, uh, for example, Google. Yeah. You go to uh, Google Maps, you go to the satellite view mm -hmm. and search for a property and then you can see it from the air. Okay. So, if, so for, for example, here we have uh, the map mm -hmm. of your dream terrain. Yeah. Uh, and then you can just start looking at it from another perspective, from the mm -hmm. God perspective. Right. Um, we see, for example, wet zones, which mm -hmm. is this zone here. Yeah. These, uh, the very dark zones here are like wet, and then right. the lighter zones yeah. are drier zones. So now we know already, okay, wet zones, okay. dry zones. Where are we going to dig that pond? Not on the dry zone. Clearly not. Even but I know that, and I'm not a specialist, exactly. as you've ascertained. So it's mm -hmm. really logic. Where does the sun rise and yep. where does it go does under? It set? So yep. mm -hmm. normally the north is always yeah, okay. the upside of a, of a, mm -hmm. of a, um, a map, and then so it rises in, in the east, east, sets in the west, sets in the west, yep. and it goes clockwise. Like, okay. Yeah. You have to other, always look at which um, part of the world you are. If you're above yeah. the equator or uh, below it, then it's reverse. Um, but we're in the northern hemisphere, so it goes around this way. Uh -huh. um, and um, so, prevailing winds. Yeah. Where are, where do the prevailing winds come from? Mm -hmm. For example, here it's southwest, south right. southwest. Yeah. And yeah. then you have to factor in all these things, um, and you just or you print this out and put it. On the, on the on the map with your mm -hmm. hand you just go around and observe we're also gonna do it right away mm -hmm. have a little tour a little walk where is it are there microclimates mm -hmm. some places warmer some places drier some places colder some places very wet and um, so you have to observe it with all your senses okay. um, and um, this for example is not very detailed because it's been done by Google satellite mm -hmm. um, you can also go to a geo website. Every country has its own geo, G-E-O website. Yep. For example, in Belgium, it's Geopunt, mm -hmm. Geoportail in France. Mm -hmm. um, you have also Geo International, where you can find like all kind of data. It's so amazing. you're not going to be starved for data in terms of starting to plot and plan and, and have a no. look and take a reading, no. take a reading of that of that yeah. plot and understand. Okay, and makes sense because once you plant, you don't necessarily want to be ripping it all up and replanting five years afterwards. No, that so would that's kind of defeat the purpose. Exactly. So okay. that's why this detective work okay. is so nice. So critical. Yeah. So this is the the, okay. the computer yeah. part uh -huh. where, where where you can do a lot of work and yeah. so those geo websites they can also show the height lines yeah. the contours mm -hmm. how what the, the mm -hmm. different heights are but also can show you what vegetation grows naturally on your plot right. not every geo portal does it but some of but them then you've got something to work with i presume you need mm -hmm. to take that in do you have something to work with then if you know what vegetation is yeah. there it's important yeah. information exactly yeah. for example uh this place is uh 
oak trees grow there naturally, mm -hmm. then mm -hmm. you can think and say, oh, okay, maybe I do something with oak trees. Okay. Or if they say, yeah, willow, then you know, oh, it's probably going to be a wet place mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. willow is, grows naturally. And, and then I'd be making baskets, wouldn't I? Voila, another yeah. business model for I'd you. Have, I'd have my ketchup, my buckthorn ketchup, and I'd sell it in my willow baskets. Wow. That's Look, can you see? I've already, already I am projecting yeah. myself oh, into that commercialized to, future. To Look buy one of those baskets yes. with ketchup. Oh, mm. my goodness. Okay. But this is like all the God view. We want mm -hmm. to also have the yep. bird view. Yep. And for the bird view, we have our little okay. um, robot bird here. Okay. So, so we have uh, a drone. We have a drone. Mm -hmm. um, advised. Yep. You have to uh, abide by some laws depending on yes, where you are. Absolutely. Um, so yep. um, yeah, take in mind that you can kill somebody with a drone. Okay. Or Thank you for that, Louis. At least, uh, yeah destroy somebody's eyes yes. with it. So okay, thank you for telling me that when I'm sitting right next to you <laughs> and you are assembling the drone. I haven't actually ever been up close and personal with a drone before, so yeah. that look, oh, All right. that's quite exciting. I'm going to show you how you can fly it. It's really easy. Okay, well, I'm actually going to go seven fields away because I'm not <laughs> feeling that confident with them. Um, with me with or with the, the drone? Well, both, really. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, uh, okay. You have two things what I do with the drone. Um, one thing is you use it to really go and go in all different perspectives, mm -hmm. to really yep. see across all your fields. Mm -hmm. depending, I'm not sure how big your dream is or how big your... Not huge, not your, huge, huge, yeah, manageable. But manageable, but it's possible that you cannot stand in one corner <laughs> and look at the other corner. That no, there's, that's possible, that's so possible. So okay. for that purpose, yeah. it's yeah. nice to have like this overview yeah. and see sure. all these different perspectives. Also, you can take pictures with it, mm -hmm. take uh, films with it. Mm -hmm. So you can afterwards like look at it and say, oh, okay, from that perspective, oh, I'm gonna put trees over there. Mm -hmm. It just really helps with the entire visual visual visualization that's process. That's a hard one, isn't it? That's a hard but one. But you manage. Yeah. <laughs> I hope you're better with the drone stuff than the English. Than the uh, visualization. The visualization, <laughs> yeah. All right. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take off with yep. this drone. Okay, I'm getting out the we're way. We're going then. to okay. put 10 feet or 10 meters away and then we're just going to fly around and film ourselves, film okay. everything and see everything from a different perspective. So, okay. You just press this one button. Yeah. Slide to take off. Yeah, I'm just looking with the light. Yeah. Take off. The whole and then, hoppa! We're in the air. And then we can see on the screen. Ah, fantastic. Wow. It's so much better because as human beings, we tend to be too myopic. We really yeah. go yeah, yeah. and watch everything yeah. from a detail, but sure. in reality, we, we, we need to have this helicopter view and this really helps. For example, now I'm looking uh, around and see, okay, look, we're surrounded by monoculture agriculture mm -hmm. who all are spraying pesticides. So we have to have wind breaks or have these buffer zones so mm -hmm. the pesticides of our neighbors cannot go into our fields. Please. Yeah. So what are we going to do now? Uh -huh. Here we're going to select this terrain and we're going to just put the boundaries on this terrain mm -hmm. and then what the drone will do, he will automatically go like back and forth, back and forth, back and forth yeah. to take pictures of everything. Uh, okay. Yeah. And then afterwards it will process all these images into mm -hmm. a 3D map. Right. So you can see the trees, you can yeah. see that this water will be lower, yeah. but you can also see the health of the plants. So it, there are all kinds of algorithms who can, Oops. for example, say, oh, this is a really dry piece of yeah. land. This is a very wet piece of land and uh, it all does it automatically. So like you said, boys... So the, actually the detective work is not being done by you, Louis, it's being done by the technology. Yeah. The technology is doing the detective work with you at the helm. Yeah, with me okay. as the master of the it master all. Of and, and it's going into that level of detail. Okay. Yeah, so um, I just yeah. have to press a button and then yeah. it will go up automatically. Okay. All right. Start flight. And then we can just sit in our lazy chair and it will automatically... Will like Go on that particular go on that terrain. Tour. Yeah. And then you can follow where the drone is, so it's here. Yeah. And you can see it's now going to the starting point. 
automatically. Yeah. It will take 13 minutes. Right. And um, if you want, we can just follow it where the drone is. Okay. Voila. Nothing more to it and technology, as as technology does the work for you. And then that's it. And then it. my food forest is done. Then just press and then the button and, yeah, then and then it all appears. <laughs> that's just the start of detective work.